What if I was to tell you that signing new clients in your agency could be killing every single chance you have of success? Now, 99% of all agency owners fall into this trap. And the worst part about it is, you right now watching this video are probably still deep in it. But in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can escape it. So here's what we're gonna be going over today. Firstly, what is this trap and why is it keeping 99% of all agency owners broke? What is it that that 1% of agency owners have that you don't? And then lastly, the exact steps that you need to follow in order to become one of those 1% agency owners. Now, before we jump into the details, I need to paint a picture of an agency owner that's currently stuck in this client trap. Only then will you really understand what it is. So here we go. James has just started his AI automation agency. He's super excited. He's been watching some YouTube videos. He's been reading books and he's now ready to get started with his outreach to start finding new clients. Now, James, just like you guys, has some pretty big goals. OK, he wants to be making $30,000 per month and he wants to achieve that within his first six months of business. Now, that's not unreasonable. It's definitely possible. But the problem is that this is James's first time ever running an agency. And the mistakes that he's about to make will be the core reason that he never makes a lot of money inside of his agency. So fast forward three weeks, James has been battling his outreach and he's really poorly structured offer. But against all odds, James has managed to pull it out of the bag. He's got a call booked in with a potential client and the big day is close. It's coming up. He's got it in his calendar. Now leading up to this call, he's been practicing. He's been reading books about sales because he needs to win this job so badly. He's got a family that he wants to support and he's got holidays that he wants to go on this year. Without this, he's got no hope. This is the first client of hopefully many for James. And this is a chance for him to prove to his family that he's actually capable of making something work on his own and that he's been right this entire time about quitting his job to go all in to start his own agency now i'm sure james's story probably sounds similar to yours but look anyway the day of the sales call comes around he jumps on the zoom call with that potential client 30 minutes go by of back and forth conversation with this new prospect he hits the end call button on that zoom call and yeah he's done it He's gone and landed the client. He actually did it. He landed that first client. So he's now told them he's going to build them a chatbot. He's going to build them some automations for their custom service. And the best part is it's paid. They're going to be paying him $750 plus $250 every single month. Now, look, let's pause this story right here for a moment. He's just landed his very first client walking away with $1,000 for the first month of work. Now, to some of you, that sounds like a massive win. And when I was first getting started out, it was a massive win. And yeah, of course, it's his first client. So we can consider it a win. But this is the first sign and the first step of the new client trap. Promise you everything will start to make sense very, very soon. Stick with me. So look, let's continue with this story. Fast forward three weeks, James has now gone and delivered everything for his client. Now, in the meantime, whilst he's been working with this client, his outreach has been flying. He's been booking calls every other day through his LinkedIn DMs and his email outreach. It's looking really, really good for James. His 30K a month seems to be getting closer and closer every single week. Over the next five sales calls that James has, he actually manages to close two new clients at $950 each plus $250 per month retainers. So he's now running at just under $3,000 per month, which is great, right? Well, no, it's not great. This is the trap. James is now firmly stuck inside of the death loop of landing new clients. Let's dig into this. If James continues as he's currently going, he will not make it past 6K, let alone make it to 30K per month. So with that said, let's look at what the 99% of agency owners are doing right now that's currently holding them back. Now, most agency owners, when you're first getting started out, you're taught that new client signups are the number one metric that you need to be tracking. It's normal. It's completely normal. Whenever you land a new client, you celebrate and then you start working with that client to then deliver the service that you sold them. Now, this is the problem. It's engraved into us that landing new clients is all that we need to do. So much, in fact, that we start to fall into this trap of constantly chasing new clients week on week. So if you are like James and you're a one man agency right now, then your process probably looks something like this, or at least it will do as you start to land clients. Number one, you go in, you speak to a potential client. Number two, you manage to land that client. Number three, you celebrate, rightfully so. Number four, you deliver all your work to that client. Number five, you start to neglect your pipeline. Number six, you start to scramble to land another client. Number seven, you realize you don't want to hurt your pipeline again. So you try not to neglect it anymore. 
And then number eight, you start to neglect your service delivery. And then number nine, you start to just churn clients. So what ends up happening here is you get pulled in so many different directions that you end up winning and losing clients at the same rate. Meaning, although in your head, it seems like the agency is progressing, it's really not. And in fact, you're actually going backwards because you're spending all day, every day, trying to juggle both your clients and the new client acquisition systems that you're building. This leads you onto getting stuck inside of something that I call the new client trap. Honestly, chasing that metric of new clients over and over again is a recipe for disaster. Look, I'm gonna be going over the metrics the 1% of agency owners track later on in this video. But for now, if you are watching this video and you're like holy shit i'm in this trap then i have some very very good news for you there is a solution to escape it and i know about it because i was stuck in that trap for six months when we were first building out our agency luckily we're now out of this trap and we're making fifty thousand dollars plus every single month helping us edge closer to being a one percent agency which is the ultimate goal now obviously all of these one percent agencies have all broken out of this trap so what is it that they've done that has made it work so well for them well the answer is fairly simple Listen closely. The 1% agencies don't have a goal to land 10, 20 new clients. Why? Well, if you don't have the infrastructure in place, it leads to burnout and poor quality service delivery. You really need to reframe the way that you think about your clients. If you think about it, the 1% are taking on the best of the best when it comes to new clients. They're handpicking the types of businesses that they want to work with. And after a while, these businesses start to handpick them. The 1% also charges way more than the 99% of agencies. Now, of course, this is something that comes over time and it's something you'll start to build up as you start to work with your first few clients. But honestly, understanding that the trap exists is the first method of escaping it. It's almost inevitable for you to be stuck in it for at least a few months. But as long as your goal is to be one of those 1% agencies and you have that in your mind constantly, then you'll be able to escape it much, much faster. Every single one of the 1% agency clients are treated like a fruit tree. The idea is that you work with every client over a long period of time. You nurture that relationship and you explore the different opportunities as they start to present themselves inside of that client account. These agencies then remain flexible and adapt around the clients that they're working with. And at the end of every single month, they then harvest their fruit, if you like, or in other terms, money from every single client that they work with. Now, this method is by far the greatest way to build an agency that actually has the legs to go past the 25K, 50K, 100K per month mark at a sustainable rate where you can actually have enough time to manage it. It's the best way to ensure that you remain sane whilst building your agency and it actually gives you that ability to scale. The truth is if you're working with 20 clients all paying you a thousand dollars per month, yes you'll be making 20 grand per month but you're going to be burnt out in three of those months and by then you would have likely have lost all of your clients within the first two months so it just doesn't work especially if you are just getting started out. Instead why not just work with three to four companies all paying you between four to six K per month and spend a few hours per week working with each client and you build a bespoke offering around each of these different clients that you're working with. This is exactly what we're doing and our biggest client right now who's currently paying us $30,000 alone every single month, they actually started out as a two and a half K per month client. But instead of chasing the new client and looking somewhere else, we actually analyzed the opportunity that we had with working with this company and we nurtured these guys over several months, slowly adding new services and deliverables to the service delivery list that we gave them every single month. But this really is the beauty of the AI automation model. Our solutions are completely new and the problems that these clients are having inside of their business have never been given much attention. So this means that the opportunity for us is to find more work inside of every single client and it's almost guaranteed. Now, once you know what you're looking for and you're confident with what you can deliver, I actually have a full video dropping on this monster client that we're working with. So make sure you subscribe to that because when you're ready, this will be a golden video for you. But look, as promised, I want you to leave this video knowing how you can be a 1% agency. But if I'm honest, becoming a 1% agency is not gonna be easy. But if you are patient enough and you put your efforts into the right places, it's only gonna be a matter of time before you come into an opportunity to work with a client that is more than just a one and done project. It's also important that you understand the first few clients you're gonna be working with will likely be very messy. Now, these are your test cases that you're gonna work on. They're gonna give you confidence, not only in yourself and what you're selling, but also 
also the model you have chosen to build as a whole. Being a 99% agency for the first few months is okay. It's literally what everyone does. Chasing new clients, fighting against service delivery and finding new ways of improving your processes week on week. You need to go through that. You need to be a 99% agency owner before you can make it to that 1%. Now, like I said, the key really is understanding that that 1% even exists in the first place. It becomes your North Star that you're aiming for every single month. And when it comes to clients, the 1% type of clients are usually found inside of genuine interactions with other business owners inside of your network. Think about it. The biggest agencies in the world have teams focused around generating new business. Now, these teams aren't going out sending out cold emails and LinkedIn DMs. Yeah, maybe it's a small part of their strategy, but the real clients they land, they're exploring their networks. They're rubbing shoulders with their dream clients, slowly working on that client relationship so that at the end of every single month with every single client they end up working with they get to pick more fruit than they did the month before but look if you want to be a one percent agency owner if you want to move through the 99 percent phase in a matter of days not months saving you the pain of relentlessly chasing new clients over and over and over again and you're really genuinely ready to dedicate everything towards it we're taking on five new qualified members who complete the form in the description of this video where we will be helping them do exactly that. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Until then, that's it from me. See you later. Bye-bye.